Animal Crossing New Horizons is a simple game. You start a brand new island and play on it until you get bored. And then when that happens, you can either just put the game away and take a break, or be stupid by spontaneously restarting and trying again to itch the boredom. If you're not new to the channel, you probably know what's gonna happen, but I figured for the first time in a really long time, we would do it together and actually restart the island. Real quick, if you still play Animal Crossing, consider subscribing to the channel and comment down below why you think it's not a dead game. We're just gonna get right into it and give our name. I think we're just gonna keep things super duper simple and just give my name, which is Vis, if you didn't know, and my birthday, which is November 25th. I'm a Sagittarius. I don't wanna go too crazy with the customization, especially because I might not even find a map that I like right away. We'll do the little ubu mouth and round nose. And I think this is cute for now. It's time to start picking the actual island. And I think for the first time, even though I do live in North America, I kind of want to do a Southern Hemisphere island. I've never done one before. And especially now that it's winter and um, fuck the snow, I think it would be a lot more fun to play the game in the summertime without having to time travel to June. So screw it. Let's do a Southern Hemisphere and mix things up. The only thing I want this time is a map where the resident services is far away from the airport. Do we think we're gonna get that round one? Uh, uh, no, we're gonna restart. It's better to be safe than sorry. And here we go, it's round two. Do we think we're gonna get a good map this time around? Come on, Timmy and Tommy, don't disappoint me. I am not disappointed. Hey, this map is really good. Oh my gosh. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Here we go. We're gonna pick this map and we're gonna actually start the game immediately. I can't believe I found that map right away. Once again, I don't really care about anything that happens on the island. I don't care about my starters. I don't care about the fruit or the flowers. I just wanted an island where the resident services was super far away from the airport. That was my one mistake with the last island. Ooh, peaches. <gasps> Okay, that's cute. Peaches are fun. Also, this is so beautiful to me, seeing the summer weeds and the green grass and the cicadas in the tree. Oh, oh, we're so back. I'm so ready to play on this island. But here's the moment of truth. Who are my star? Oh, so we have Phoebe right over here. Wanna get left behind? Let's go. Okay, Miss Ma'am, great intro. And we have Snake. I like Snake. Snake's a cool person. Look at this long journey that I have to take to get all the way to Town Hall. It is so far away from the airport. I don't think I've ever had a Town Hall this far away. Tom Nook is ready to introduce us to the brand new island once again. And I think we all know how this goes. You plop down your housing plot alongside your villagers, pick up some sticks and fruit for Tom Nook and get lit at the campfire. It's time to name the island in celebration of the surprise of me getting rid of Nook Tits without y'all knowing. I'm so sorry for doing this once again. I figured we could still keep the spirit of Nook Tits alive. You know, that is such an iconic name that has such important meaning to Angry Coconut as a whole. It's only fair that we name this island Nook Tits as well to keep the tradition going. And they didn't say Nook Tits. I said Nook Tits this time though. Timmy, you were supposed to say it. Come on, boy. What the hell did he say? Bellevue? That was so ugly. The villagers go with my decision because from the get-go, they know that I'm the smartest person here. And after spending the night celebrating away with the villagers, it was time to go to bed where I hallucinated another encounter with a global superstar and woke up on my first day on the brand new island. Tom Nook gives us a brand new cell phone and our first itemized bill of 5,000 Nook miles. And with all that out of the way, Welcome to my island, bitch, once again. And here we are on the first day. I just took a photo for the thumbnail. We're already making some great progress because look at this. I get some Nook Miles right away. We get 500 for just starting up the game. Thank you. And I get an extra 300 because I took a photo, bringing us closer to our goal of paying off our house because that's the first thing we got to do today. Can I just say? how gorgeous the game is now that it's summertime, even though it's only January, it feels kind of weird, I'm not gonna lie, but I love it. Phoebe is here, hello. Yo, Vis, I'm getting a real good vibe from the tent plot you picked for me. She says the exact same thing sisterly say on the first day. Phoebe though, I like her, I guess. Um, 
Okay, thank you for the recipe for the leaf umbrella. She's a cool sisterly villager. I don't know. I don't really have like any insane thoughts about her, but it's better than other sisterly villagers. So that's cute. Snake, on the other hand, where is he? I just saw him. I love, love, love his face though. And just how there's nothing going on between those eyes. He's just in his own world. I live, I really do. And he's gonna give me something. Ooh, a hat. I love a good hat, a mesh cap. I don't think I usually get mesh caps on the first day. I usually get like the outdoor hat or like the jungle type hat. Oh my God, and it's purple. Interesting, I've never gotten that hat before on the first day. Talking to the villagers, they tell you to go talk to Tom Nook. So after getting some more Nook miles right here, bam, 300 for chatting with my villagers, we can go and do that because we need to get started. There's a lot that we have to do on our first day. Hello, Tom Nook, once again, here you are to talk to me. And I, yeah, he's gonna just talk a bunch. We already know what's happening. We need to learn how to craft things because that will really help us towards our goal of paying off our house. Welcome to my DIY workshop. Oh, I suppose workshop is overselling it a bit, huh? When you see how simple it is to DIY or do it yourself, I know what that means. You don't need to tell me, sir. I'm a lot smarter than you're making me out to look like right now. We are here to learn how to make a fishing rod. We need five tree branches in order to do that. I wonder how long it's gonna take me to do that. Oh, look at that. I already collected five tree branches. That was so quick. But to be an extra special, diligent person, I'm gonna collect a few more tree branches before I head back just so that I have enough to craft a net right away. Because I think having a net, especially in the summertime, is a really good idea because of the amount of bugs that are available, especially during the daytime. Ooh, I just caught my first leaf furniture and it's a wall item, so I can't actually display that yet. I guess it's gonna have to stay there for now. All right though, the first Shady Shakedown, another 300 Nook Miles, 1400 Nook Miles already. And we haven't even started grinding up for them yet. You see how easy it is to actually get your first 5,000 Nook Miles? And we're gonna craft our first fishing rod right away. And now we can catch some critters, woohoo. He doesn't outright say it as well, but the next low key mission that you get is to catch five critters to donate to Tom Nook, as we all know, so that we can get blathers. We're gonna start off right away by catching some bugs because like I said, it's summertime and we already saw a bunch of bugs flying around. Here's the first one right over here. Oh my God, bam. Oh, I can't catch it. Wait, excuse me, why won't you go in my net? Why don't you count as a bug? This is literally a bug. Huh, that's a weird glitch. I wonder what's going on there. Ooh, but in all seriousness, here's our actual first bug. It's a cicada. Cicadas to me, like, I love the sound that cicadas make, but have you ever seen one up close? Ugh. Like in the summertime, especially, you see cicadas everywhere over here. And oh my God, every time they land on me, it's like a jump scare. They literally come out of nowhere. They don't fly. They just teleport onto your body. But the noises that cicadas make, it makes up for it. I don't know why. There's just something so comforting about hearing cicadas sing on a warm, sunny day. Playing right now in the summertime, it makes me so desperate for summer once again. It is so nasty and cold outside here in Ontario. It's like negative 15 degrees. There's snow everywhere. I hate it. I hate it. it. It's just been a rough start to the new year. That's, no, that's not a leaf bug. That's the furniture item that I, right, okay. I, I knew that, I did, I promise I knew that. All the bugs are over there and I have no way of getting to them. There's another bug over there that I can't get. Wow, we're so stranded on this small strip of land on the first day. I forget how confined you are early on. I mean, I guess it would just make sense to do some fishing instead if I can't find another bug. Like, look, there's a fish right over here. We can just catch this and hopefully this will be enough to give to Tom Nook. All right, here's another fish. Hopefully this one will actually go smoothly. No, oh my God, oh my, that wasn't even a bit. That wasn't a bit. I was genuinely trying to catch that one. We're just gonna wait until it vibrates. Oh my God, thank you. All right, we got it. What a perfect first fish to catch on a brand new island. This is so monumental. We have five critters ready to give Tom Nook. And once again, I'm gonna have to do this one by one because the game loves to make you wait. Oh, by the way, have you been taking advantage of my DIY workbench lately? 
I have been, yes, I have, Tom Nook. Come to think of it, I've seen you tinkering around a bit over there. Keep up the good work. I love that he's just lying straight to my face. He saw me only make one net and one fishing rod, but he's like, <laughs> It's too early in our relationship to be calling each other out for lies and stuff that he's like, no, we have to keep things professional. This man is literally going to build my island up from the ground up. So it's not worth it. Also, ooh, he just gave us our axe recipe. Right. I forgot that's how you get it. You have to lie to Tom Nook and say that you've been using the DIY bench. He also gives you flowers after you donate your third critter, which is helpful for Nook Miles. And he gives you the watering can recipe after your fourth critter. Wow, I literally forgot how many like good items and tips you get just from donating critters to Tom Nook right away. I forgot how like easy it is to actually progress the game. Yes, it's such a slow grind and I wish it would be a lot more streamlined. At least you're actually getting good rewards for doing things. Like donating five critters gets you the rest of the tool recipes, some flowers and the museum, which is great. So maybe I should stop complaining and actually just appreciate the game for what it is. But that's boring. I'm gonna keep complaining. His phone is nowhere near his ear, by the way. How the hell can he hear blathers? Regardless of that weird observation, the museum has officially been unlocked. We've donated five critters to Tom Nook, which is a weird sentence to say if you said that in a previous game. We gotta figure out a nice juicy plot for Blathers to move in. And I think there's really only one place where it would make sense for him to be. Right behind Res- oh. Right, there's a river behind resident services. Dang it. Dang it, that means I can't do that this time. So we gotta figure out a proper place for him. I think just keeping it out of the way right now would be good, but also still close. So I feel like right here is good. It's right by resident services, so it's not too far away, but it's also to the back of the island, so it's not too in the way from things as well. Yay, and just like that, the museum is unlocked and all there really is left to do now is just earn enough Nook Miles so that we can pay off our house. Okay, right away we can write something on the bulletin board that'll give us a couple of miles. I have a nice message that we can put right away. My first message, so true, so monumental. That gives us 300 Nook Miles, okay. It's, it's good to start off. I know for a fact that editing your passport can also help out, so let's see. We can edit the photo. Let's just take a photo of high fashion shot right there of my back. The comment, let's just put this as our comment, Nook Tits, cause why not? As for the title, what do I have right away that I could put? I'm gonna do Nook Inks Pet because that's very telling of these first few weeks of the game. We have 2000 Nook Miles now, so we only need 3000 more, I think. I think if I just plant the flowers that Tom Nook gave me, oh, right here, I think five of them will give you Nook Miles, but I'm not too sure about that. No, okay, I was wrong. But we can just like pick up some weeds and some fruit and then go and sell those to Timmy and hopefully that'll help out. I love that I literally just reset back in October. It's now January and I already like forgot what I could do. I know I could just Google a guide, but eh, you know, like it's more fun to kind of just play the game and figure things out for yourself. Even if you already know what you're doing, it's fun to challenge yourself to try and go in without a guide, especially for a game like this where, you know, the first two weeks of the game, you're kind of just doing the exact same thing over and over again. It's fun to just kind of sit back, relax, and just, you know, just play the game. I am also gonna scour the beaches right now and pick up as many shells as I can. I'm pretty sure you get Nook Miles for selling enough of them. So let's see if we can do that right now. Oh, wow, these beaches really are small. I only picked up three shells. Yeah, we need to get that pole vault as quickly as we can to keep going. And here we go, we're catching another fish and it's a sea bass again. Timothy, hello. I'm here once again to give you my items. I love that this is my first official conversation with him and I am just here to hand him a bunch of fruit, some weed and some shells and even a bug and a fish. I'm not really here to make friends with you. I'm here for business. I'm here to get my bag so that I can actually have some walls and a front door. We got 300 Nook Miles for selling some weeds to a 12 year old. 300 Nook Miles just for selling things in general 
And okay, that's it. I didn't get anything for the shells or the fruit. And I got Nook Miles right now just for using my phone. Um, thank you, Tom Nook, for that. You don't get Nook Miles for selling fruit though? I thought you did. Ooh, a custom design. You could do a custom design to get Nook Miles. Let's just edit the design real quick. Whoa. Okay, beautiful. My first custom design on the new island. 500, ooh, that's not bad. I'm thinking right now what I'm gonna do is craft us a flimsy ax right away. And with this flimsy ax, we're gonna hit two birds with one stone. Or I guess in this case, two trees with one ax or more than one tree with one ax. Chopping down trees, gets you Nook Miles. And also, I know for a fact in the coming days, we're gonna need as much wood as we can. So let's just quickly chop down as many trees and try and get some wood so that we can pay off, um, you know, future dues that require wood. This is really just the early game steps though. Chopping down trees. I'ma be honest, like every time I finish up the first two weeks of an island, I never, never chop trees again. I do love New Horizons, I do, but the crafting mechanics in this game, especially with how clunky in general they feel, like I never get inspired to do it. You know, the fact that there's no bulk crafting and like that whole spiel, how many times a day do I complain about that? I'm never like super motivated to craft on the island. I kind of just go ahead and use treasure islands or like buy the items instead. Oh. Okay, there goes my first axe. We got some Nook Miles though from chopping those trees, right? Yes, 300 from that. And I also get 300 from breaking a tool. That's great. That's actually really great. So just like that, we only need a thousand more Nook Miles. A thousand more Nook Miles. What can I do for a thousand Nook Miles? Craft one more DIY recipe. That's a good thing. And we can also craft two more tools. Okay, we need to plant five more flowers and sell five more fruit. We're gonna go in here, craft two tools, sell the fruit, buy some flowers, plant them, and see how much Nook Miles we get from that. Let's craft a fishing rod. It's always good to have a spare. I only have nine branches. Oh crap, okay. I went ahead and grabbed a stone so that I could craft another ax instead so we can chop down some more trees. Hooray, the tools are crafted. I am going to come to you, Timothy, and we are going to buy some flowers first because I accidentally clicked that when I was supposed to click sell. I'm also gonna buy an ax right now because I'm too lazy to craft another one. So we'll do that. Here you go, please enjoy them. I have no idea what you're gonna do with them, but I appreciate it anyways. And just like that, we get 300 for crafting tools, 300 for selling fruit, and also 300 for buying Timmy's things. Oh my God, I only need 100 more. I have to plant the flowers. Ka blammo, here we are. Flower power giving us 300 Nook Miles. And just like that, we have 5,200. There we go. We can already start paying off our house. And just like that, day one activities are basically done. How exciting. And with the extra axes that I have in hand, I just spent the rest of the day chopping down some trees to get some more wood. And that's really all I did on this day. So we might as well just move to day two. The airport is unlocked, which is a very important thing. If you're not new to the channel, you already know what that means. And Blathers is here. That's exciting. I can't wait to forget about him until I hit three stars. But yes, oh. Hi, Phoebe, standing right in front of me. Here we are, it's a brand new day. I officially have a house, woo. I did so much grinding yesterday that I managed to get 2,000 Nook Miles. In fact, I actually have 2,600 Nook Miles now that my house is upgraded. We're off to a pretty good start. There's a lot that we can do. It's a gorgeous morning, clear skies. I am obsessed. I am so obsessed with the clear skies, especially in the summertime. This is so pretty. I just want to spend the day frolicking in the fields, but we got to get to work. Before I forget, we shall start off the day not by damaging Blathers' tent. Excuse me, go inside. Oh my God. Here we have Sir Blathers. And that means the museum is officially unlocked. And I'm gonna be honest, there's only one reason why I'm talking to him right now. I now have the recipe for the vaulting pole, which is especially needed for what's to come. 
I also got the recipe for the shovel, which will make hitting rocks a lot easier. Anyways, Blathers, you can stop talking now. I no longer need your services. So, you see, since the number of home owners is increasing, I agree that we need to build a shop. However, when it comes to building supplies, our customers' homes should take priority. I have every confidence that you'll find a way to handle this little puzzle. Hmm, I wonder what that means. Tom Nook, I love, love that you're able to use your voice right now and chat with me. Um, I really don't care. I have done this way too many times, but he's giving me a Nook Miles ticket, which means we're able to go to Nook Miles Island. And also Timmy is here chatting with us. He has an important mission. He wants our help to build Nook's cranny onto the island. And unfortunately for him, because his own father hates him, he has to gather all the crafting materials required for this mission. But because Timmy can't leave the confines of this net, he's gonna make us do it. I said net, I meant tent. We require 30 of each wood and 30 iron nuggets. That means we're gonna be spending today doing a bunch of grinding, but if you saw in day one, I was very big brained to chop a bunch of trees and I come bearing good news. I was actually able to get more than enough wood. Look at that, I have 30 of each wood already. Pro tip, chop down your trees on day one. It is worth it in the long run. I mainly came to the tent today because I just wanted to quickly craft a vaulting pole. It requires 30 softwood. Uh oh, I only have 30 softwood though. We could craft a shovel right now. I would like a shovel so that we can get some iron nuggets. Oh, I only have exactly 30 softwood. So I guess sadly, we're gonna have to get five more softwood alongside our iron nuggets. I tried to do some grinding yesterday and as you can see, I only got two iron nuggets because there are only three rocks available to me currently. But with this vaulting pole in hand, hopefully we might be able to get all the iron nuggets and things that we need just off the island. We might as well try it right now. Can we get some iron nuggets from this rock right here? Um, So far it does, oh, okay, we got one and two. Okay, two iron nuggets, that's not bad. Not bad indeed. Phoebe is here wanting to talk to me. What's up? I heard you were getting stuff together for a shop. That's right, girl, how the hell did you know that? Oh, right, they give you a shovel. Oh my God, so I didn't actually have to craft my own shovel. Well, that's fine. We already did it. And now we have an extra shovel for when this one breaks. Thank you, Phoebe, thank you for your service. Snake does not want to talk to me. Okay, that's fine, I guess. But if I just hit this rock, Will I get iron nuggets? Oh, we're off to a great start. We got one, two, three. It looks like we're only getting three. No, we got four, five. Okay, five iron nuggets, not bad. Okay, we're just getting a bunch of nook miles for hitting rocks today, that's really good. Where is my final rock, speaking of? It's up here. Yes, praying for eight. Let's get eight iron nuggets in a row. Never mind. Oh my God, I didn't even get a single iron nugget from that. All right. Uh, anyways, before we continue on, like I said, I've officially don't have enough softwood. So let's see if I can quickly grab five softwood. Oh, that's two right there. So we only need three more. And if we're living in a perfect society, this tree right here will give me exactly three softwood. But maybe this tree right here will do it instead. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I mean, we might as well do I have a net? Yes, I do. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, <laughs> I actually caught it. I didn't expect to, but that's fine. Okay. This one gave me two. Thank you. I just need one more. Just one. Are you kidding me? I no. I need my softwood, please. Oh my God. This right here, man. The epitome of starting a brand new island. The bees are buzzing, my ax is just broke, and just like that, we've officially been stung by bees for the first time on the brand new island, yes! We still need so many iron nuggets and one piece of softwood left. So I think what we shall do today right now is just spend some time getting some Nook Miles instead. Because with the Nook Miles in hand, I only need 400 more. We could just head to some Nook Miles Islands, you know, grab it from there. And while doing so, y'all already know what I'm about to say. We're going on the first official villager hunt. You can villager hunt as soon as your airport unlocks. I always tell people this and people still get surprised every time I say it. You get 80 
bonus miles if you log on day one and day two, which is very helpful. Uh, the main reason why I'm in here though is because I just wanna craft something real quick. All right, we have 4,000 miles. Oh, wow, I did not expect to get those right away. So without further ado, let us grab our two Nook Miles tickets and let's go hunting. Oh my God, we get to find our first three villagers. This is literally like my favorite part of starting a brand new island is seeing who the first three villagers are. As always, I like to just take the first three tickets because I don't care. I usually just kick them out as soon as they ask to move out. So this shall be fun. And we have officially made it to island number one and Wilbur is gonna sit through another tutorial. I, oh my God, I didn't even realize I have a green airport. Green also symbolizes money because money is green. And this island is called Nook Tits based on Tom Nook. So it works out. I'm literally chatting right now to get through the tutorial. Whoever is on this island will be the first official villager moving on. And that villager is missing right now. Hello? They're thing is here so there is a villager on here confirmed it's a pig <gasps> is it lucy oh my god it's lucy Ooh, i think i've had her before right i feel like i had her on a previous island i cannot remember this change of scenery is giving me a new perspective on life back on my island i like it well enough but you should move to my island just come who cares? Abandon your life, uproot it, and come and have some excitement with Snoink? What is her cap? Snoink? We need to grind up right away. I don't have an ax. Okay, so we gotta talk to Wilbur for that. But before we do that though, let us quickly try and grab some iron nuggets. Please, if this game loves me as much as I love it, it will give me a bunch of iron nuggets on this first island. And we're already off to a horrible start. Oh, okay. We're getting some iron nuggets at least. Four iron nuggets. That's not too bad. How exactly am I going to dig holes for this one? I guess I could do it there. And maybe we could do one there as well. All right. Let's do it. Oop. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait. I'm eating. I'm eating right now. Oh, no. No, no, no. I just messed up. Oh, no. I'm not going to get a perfect. Dang it. I was getting all iron nuggets on that one too. Okay, at least we still got a bunch of iron nuggets from that. That's better than nothing. We're at 19, so we only need 11 more. So basically, if this one gives us eight, we only need three from the next island. So please don't screw it up this time and give me eight iron nuggets. Never mind. Okay, we still got four. Four iron nuggets, that's good enough. So we only need seven more now. I need an ax, so Wilbur, I don't have enough Nook Miles, right? Because I spent them all on these tickets. So I guess we're gonna have to actually craft an ax. I hardly ever craft items while I'm here. I need five branches. Okay, that's actually not too bad. There's a bunch of branches lying around. The moment of truth. Will we get one soft wood from this tree? Oh, we did. Oh my God, yay. Oh, thank God. We don't have to chop trees anymore. We just need seven, right? Seven more iron nuggets. And hopefully we'll get those on island number two, which speaking of, here we are on island number two. So our main goal here is to do some rock smacking. But first things first, who is the second villager that's gonna be moving on to the island? It's gonna be Claude. I honestly forgot that Claude was a lazy villager. He gives me cranky vibes or smug even, but yeah, he is a lazy villager. This island is so much nature. Every place you look is nature. It's real neat. I could sit here forever pointing at stuff saying, oh, that's nature. Man, it'd be really neat to live on an island like this full time. I mean, just living life, pointing nature. Um, do you want to come live on my island, I guess? <laughs> Yeah, he has to live on my island anyways. I mean, Claude's fun. I don't hate him. I have nothing against him. There's 400 villagers in the game. He really is just one of the villagers that exists. I pray that I get seven iron nuggets from this rock. Wait, wait, wait. Oh my God, <laughs> I did. That was too perfect. The fact that I managed to get exactly seven from this rock of all rocks, the one that's next to the tree that I have beef with, Nintendo, I'll never forget. This tree isn't supposed to be here. 
It's right next to a cliff. We officially have enough materials to craft the shop. I mean, I guess it would be smart to do some more grinding in advance anyways, because, you know, we gotta do a bunch more crafting tomorrow. So I mean, like, I guess we could just spend some time grabbing things right now, as you can see. Oh, well, thank God I have three shovels in my pockets. I'm gonna get rid of these peaches uh, just so I could, I, are you kidding me? Oh my God. Okay, swap for the weed. I did not mean to get rid of that. I'm trying to get as much wood as I can just so that we're just prepared in advance for the next mission of the game, which is crafting a bunch of furniture because that's definitely like my least favorite part. And I love that it comes right after my most favorite part of the game, which is hunting for the first three villagers and then actually having to move them in is like my least favorite part of the early game. That is only rivaled by the three star grind. The three star our grind is definitely the roughest stage and my axe has broke speaking of rough stages we no longer have an axe so um there's no point spending any more time on this island and here we are on the third and final island of the day and the third villager that will be moving on will be a peppy villager so i'm curious to see who it is and once again they're missing okay the girls love hiding from us today don't they uh We just had to get one flop today. We were getting a bunch of nobodies, a bunch of randoms to me, and the game knew that was too good to be true and they had to end it off with this. Great to meet you, how are you? I'm Anna Cotty. Welcome to my hypetastic island getaway. Shut up, snitch. I'm not gonna share any information with this one because I know she will go straight to Tom Nook and snitch on me and try and get me deported off this island. That's the type of girl she is. Okay, it's not my island, but it will be. I wanna be a pop star and all pop stars own islands. See, she's trying to own the island. She is trying to destroy everybody's reputation and get us all arrested so that she can own the island by default. So you're this from Nook Tits. Like, I didn't tell you that information. My mouth was shut. I don't speak. How dare you find that information out already? I love meeting new folks, AKA new fans. Sorry, sorry, was that directed to me? Cause last I checked, I ain't a fan of you. I'm not even a friend of you. I'm not even an associate of you. I am just the one who happens to be existing at the same time as you. I would love, love to not take her. I really would. Hmm. If I don't take Anna Cotty right now, the game will find somebody else for me to take. So am I willing to risk an autofill just so I don't have Anna Cotty move on to my island? I think we are going to say no to that flop over there and gamble our chances by letting Tom Nook choose our third and final villager for us instead. You know what? Actually, I was gonna end the part there after we find our first three villagers. But because I'm not doing that today, let's quickly give our items to Timmy and Tommy, time travel to the next day and put down all the plots and see who the final villager is. And then we'll end off the village, the video. I'm probably gonna be doing that part of the video off camera, by the way, the whole like grinding up for the three houses because I, I, I don't wanna, I don't wanna do it right now. That is so much grinding. And I think I'd rather just get it done so then we can just jump straight to the campsite villager in part two. Hello, Timmy, I am here to quickly give you some items to build your shop right away. I know for a fact that he's gonna be gagged right now. Let's see, you brought in <gasps> everything we need all at once. Everything everywhere all at once. Movie of the year 2022, three, when did it come out? Movie of the year in 2023 too though. That movie is just pure excellence. He's gonna give me an exit sign, an Argyle vest, and some arch brick flooring, an exit sign? Are you telling me to exit? I'm sorry, how dare you? Hello, Snake. Snake wants to talk to me now. I heard that you've been helping build us a shop. You're gonna be Nook Tits' MVP in no time, Bunny Yip. I found something that might help things along. Now you're gonna give me the iron nuggets. After I already got the materials for the shop, you're gonna give me the iron nuggets. The faster we get a shop, the faster I can just buy free weights. Girl, the shop is already coming. Thank you for your help, Snake. This was all thanks to you. I'll be sure that when we do the opening ceremony tomorrow, that Timmy and Tommy personally thank you for being a waste of time on this island. You're not gonna pull your weight. You're gonna be the first to leave. That incompetence, you know what? You know what? Bam, 
I'm gonna build a shop right over you. Boom, he's underneath those planks of woods right now, hiding, buried, where he, oh. Okay, that was awkward. No, Snake, I didn't say any of that. You didn't hear me, <gasps> but there's a bottle. Okay, we'll end off the day real quick with seeing who the first bottle of the new island is in three, two, one. Mitzi, oh, yes. Yes, Mitzi, one of my favorite cat villagers. Second only to Tabby. Mitzi is such an underrated legend and she's giving me the wooden full length mirror, exactly. And while Tom Nook is giving us his important speech of the day, he forgot to put his phone on silent. And he claims to be a professional. You can't even put your phone on vibration. And more importantly, you're taking the phone call over telling us what's going on. Hmm, nice to see where your priorities are, Tom Nook. And I respect that because he's all about getting the bag. Tom Nook is still chatting on that damn phone when I'm trying to have a meeting with him. Really, Tom Nook? Get off your phone right now. He is here to start the next mission, which is having the three villagers move in. Thanks to me, I brought two of them this time around. Oh, we have to craft a bridge first. Oh God. How did they just completely forget about this? We have to craft the bridge and then place that down and get started on the building. Oh, right, okay. What does a bridge require? We just need log stakes, clay, and stone. Okay, so we can craft some log stakes right now, I think. I'm making it clear right now, the actual crafting part of like crafting each furniture and everything, I'm not doing that on camera. Just watch one of my previous reset videos. Girl, I've done so many at this point. It's gonna go exactly the same way. The grinding and stuff, I'm gonna snuggle up in bed and do it on my own. Let's just plop this bridge right here. There's really no need to put it in like a special spot because girl, let's be honest, I'm probably gonna get rid of this bridge right away. And now the moment of truth. We're gonna plop down our three housing kits and hopefully they auto fill right away and not after I place, oh my gosh, please tell me they do it before I place the furniture down. The three plots are officially placed down and I got some Nook Miles for some reason, ooh, from taking a photo. Now, the question is, how do I figure out who's moving onto the island? Maybe if I just save and log back onto the island, it will autofill the plots. Oh my God, there's so much happening right now, Phoebe. Oh, Phoebe is teaching me reactions. Oh, thank you. Phoebe is officially the therapist of Nook Tits. And just like that, we can finally start reacting. Hooray. You know what? This is a perfect way because Yaz Gulliver is here being a flop right now. And I live, I live to see him at his downfall. Have the plots filled in. No. Oh no. Please don't tell me I actually have to. Okay. I think I actually have to fill in the furniture and then these plots will autofill. So I ended up doing all my grinding off camera and built every single furniture required for each plot. Obviously Lucy and Claude were the first two villagers that we saw and the final villager, the peppy villager moving on to Nook Tits is, oh my God, it's Puddles. Not the underwear panty frog girl. I respect that. She's a cutie. Okay, thank God. Five for five, not ugly villagers who I don't really care about. And yeah, with that, welcome to week one on Nook Tits. It's done, so I don't know why I'm welcoming you now. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, next time you'll see me, we'll be figuring out who the campsite villager is. Oh God, I'm not ready for that.